Wildest college sex story. My roomie and I, guys, had our GFs over at the same time. Mine went to the same college, his did not. So in our dorm room my roomie and his girl start going at it. We notice and both get turned on so we start going at it. After a couple of minutes of each pair trying to hide the fact, we all said fk it and decided to have an impromptu contest to see who could make their girl scream the loudest. I won when I pulled out and stuck it in her ass. She screamed in both pleasure and pain. But it was a very hot night and I still fap to that to this day. First weekend of college as a freshman on Saturday afternoon. Everyone had pretty much gone home. It was one of those colleges. Anyway, I'm in my room with the door open playing around on my computer when I hear the stairwell door open and someone walking up and down the hall knocking on doors. The place was a ghost town. So I poked my head out, and this super hot girl from the first floor is banging on doors. I ask if I can help her with anything, and she seems super excited to find someone. She says her TV isn't working and no one is around to help her, and the school can't send anyone until Monday. She asks if I can help her fix it. This was before I was even remotely tech savvy at all but I wasn't about to pass up a chance to hang out with this girl for even a few minutes. We go back to her room. And she has the TV up on her dresser and it's just all fuzzy, no picture. She says it just happened all of a sudden. Well I knew enough to check out the coax cable and sure enough it was not connected. I asked her who connected this and she said her room had just pushed it on and it worked. Well it needed to be screwed in to be secure, so I did that and it worked. She did that little squealy girl shout of excitement and hugged me. I was trying to play it cool and was all, oh no problem. I was about to leave, and she said she hadn't thanked me properly. She closed the door, unzipped my pants, pulled out my and started to blow me. Mind you, I had never had a before in my life and this chick was incredible. I finished by all over her face. It was by far one of the best days of my life. You know how they tell you not to stick your in crazy? Well, one night I did. There was a girl who was super hot, but always seemed a bit off who lived down the hall from me my sophomore year. I started casually flirting with her because I thought she was cute and we had a few of the same interests, but she shot me down and embarrassed the out of me, so I laid off. She started harassing me non-stop. She'd single me out and, in front of a group of people, speculate as to how small I probably was or how I'd never satisfy a woman as long as I lived. It became a huge joke to everyone around us, and I started to hate her, and how cruel she was. Still, toward the end of the year we happened to meet up at a party, and get super drunk. Since she lived down the hall from me, we staggered home together. She began in on her aunt about my size, so I lost it. But, instead of screaming at her, and calling her a I grabbed her, and planted a sloppy kiss on her. Instead of recoiling she kissed me back. Within a few minutes we were drunkenly making out in the doorway to our dorm building. And Ra came out and told us to move along. We went up to our floor and went directly for the shower. Within a minute I was eating her out in the shower and she was screaming my name. I almost drowned, but I gave her an orgasm. Mind you, I was very drunk. The next thing I remember she was dragging me from the shower into her dark room. She threw a condom at me and, without thinking, I started her doggy style. I'll never forget the brief moment of clarity I had. I knew this girl was f***ed up, and I knew how crazy she made me by constantly harassing me, but, out of pure age, I kept going. She later said I must have given her 10 orgasms between the shower and her room. I left her panting and half asleep. The last thing I heard her say was that she'd never gotten it like that before. After all was said and done I left, feeling slightly disgusted with myself. I had hate this girl. On record, it was my one drunken hookup. I'm proud that I was able to prove myself, but disappointed that I could only ever do it drunk. My ex came to visit one weekend. The weather was shit, so we just stayed in and started drinking. The drinking slash watching TV turned into playing drinking guard games. We got really drunk really quick. Backstory, the day before I went to a sex store to get some sex Along with the condoms I bought some flavored body syrup shit that's meant for foreplay licking. The drinking led to foreplay. In my drunken state I offered to give her an erotic massage. I fumbled around for lotion 
but being a 19y slash o college freshman there was no lotion. There was the body syrup. I used almost the entire thing and rubbed it all over her body. We had sex and passed out. The next morning she woke up and was essentially glued to the bedding because we didn't wash off the syrup. It took a good hour to get her cleaned up. Icing on the cake. My roommate, who went home for the weekend, came back early and saw the two of us, naked, peeling off sheets. I lived in an old four bedroom apartment with three of my friends in college. For some reason, not only did my room share a thin wall with my best friend's room, but there was a door between the rooms. Also, the door was too small for the doorway, so there was about a 3 to 4 inch gap below the bottom of the door. We stuffed towels or something into the gap, but we could both hear pretty much everything louder than a whisper coming from each other's room. Naturally, I took a lot of joy in messing with my friend. My favorite thing to do was to yell out weird things while having sex. Fortunately, a girl I was seeing thought it was funny, and she'd get in on it too. My friend usually pretended not to hear us, but one time I convinced my GF to yell out my friend's dad's full name while we were having sex. We could hear his laughter for about 5 straight minutes. Kinda related, I had sex with my roommate's cousin. She wasn't asleep yet, roommate female, cousin male, me female, 100%. That was my roommate's worst experience. Super NSFW Sue, tag, anyway. I wish I could make up this good. Freshman year, I was in the marching band. I was trying to talk to this moderately pretty blonde girl, and it was going. Not great just going. Anyway, I invite her over since my roommates didn't move in until the next week. She asks if her roommate can come over, and I was hesitant, but let her come. Her roommate was the hottest girl in the band we all sat there playing Guitar Hero until the girl I invited over was like okay it's getting late and I head home. So I was like okay guys have a good night, but the other girl just sat on my couch with no intention of leaving. Little backstory, girl has a boyfriend she's been dating for like 2 years, so I'm like super oblivious when she asks to put on a movie and hang out more, so I'm just like okay. We pick one out, and like 2 minutes in she starts like playing with my ear, scratching my neck seductively, and I'm like yo wtf, I'm so turned on right now. If you don't stop him I do something. She just smiles and scratches my back. Hard. So I pretty much just tackle this chick and start hitting the bases. But she's fighting me the whole way. I, confused, stop every so often asking if she wants me to stop. But she replies I'm having fun. We finally get to the thing and it just won't fit. Like one of those children's shape recognition games. And I'm trying to jam the square peg into the round hole. Eventually after like spitting on it and stuff I finally get it in and instantly. Shit was so tight and I had no idea what I was getting into. I swear I came like 25 times that night. TLDR. Hit on a girl I thought I had a shot with. Ended up having the best sex of my life with her smoking hot roommate. Was 19. Moving away the next day for college in another city and she says it's time because we've been together for 6 months or so, and I'm about to move. She's been with a few guys, and says she wants to go on top, cool. I'd heard about how horrible I was about to be, so I thought, if she was in control it might be better. We are fooling around in my room, and she asks if I'm ready. Look down, looks like it. She gets on top, into position, and without warning. She just lets gravity take over completely 120 pounds straight down on my uncircumcised No condom, no lube, no chance. That was the only time I screamed in pain in my adult life. Threw her off right away and cried for a bit. My, now ex, girlfriend's family was trying to break us up and we wanted to lose our virginities to each other. We ended up in the woods near my house in the middle of December. Bonus, it was 32 deg point f slash 0 deg point c outside. Double bonus, the condom broke. Edit, there is a huge difference between 32 deg point f and 32 deg point c. The student that he was sleeping with received an A in his class. So, while she could have earned that grade, there is a conflict of interest that should not exist. He is a professor that does not give out many A's, and there is a lot of grumbling about unfairness among the student body. Also, many female students who have graduated have said that he sexually harassed them 
and stalks them on Facebook and around campus. This is not some fine upstanding man who simply happened to fall in love. The guy is notorious around campus for his sly innuendo that many people find creepy. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button.